And welcome to your Go Market Update for today, Tuesday, the 14th of March 2023. Mike Smith, Senior Analyst at Go Markets, here with what's happening across the newswires today. Of course, there was a mixed session in the US overnight with the NASDAQ, the only major index closing in positive territory. The Dow hitting five straight days now to the downside. The Silicon Valley bank fallout still upsetting sentiment despite regulator intervention and it's not really expected to alter the Fed rate hike course despite the lone voice of Goldman Sachs suggesting it may. And eyes of course are also on that critical US inflation data that's out tonight. Uh, US futures are mildly higher in Asian trading though Asian indices are responding pretty badly to what's happening in the banking space. ASX is down around 2% with all sectors down very little to shout about unless of course you're in a gold stock which is going very well in light of what's happening european equity markets also had a bad day yesterday the futures are pointing to a cautious open and the vix spiked high and tested four month highs us dollar hit monthly lows against most currencies it is neutral in asia this morning and gold surged as a result and moved back over that critical psychological 1900 level copper managed to hold over four dollars and edged higher in yesterday's trading and oil tested the lows of the recent ranges it's been trading in for the last few weeks. Bitcoin remains strong and is back near 24,000. We saw that big surge after a gap up in yesterday's early action. It is the US CPI number that is what markets are looking at in terms of sentiment, as well as that bank fallout. The only other data out of note is UK employment figures. Let's have a look at a couple of charts of our interest today. Of course, it makes sense to have a look at gold stocks and, and Newcrest Mining are worth a look. Uh, you can see that double bottom formation and you can see it's moving high. It's now up towards $25. We're putting a level of interest at $25.54. You'll see this is highs not seen really since March last year. So almost 12 month highs on this it is over the 200 MA on the weekly chart. So a breach of 25.54 could see us up towards that 28.29 level over the course of the next little while, depending on what happens. But certainly gold is a good place to be right now. If we look at the US yen, you can see the USD weakness yesterday. We broke through the 200 moving average on the daily chart. Now testing a possible key level at around about 132.71. But you can see there may be some recovery in trading today we are slightly higher on this pair if we look at the 30 minute chart you can see just edging higher a little bit perhaps we'll get some profit taken early on and maybe if we get some good news coming out of the us about how well this situation is being managed we might see a move over 133.65 which could be bullish and push it up towards 134 initially but there is a level at around about this 134.40 level that we think is certainly on the cards and then of course that cpi number may throw things around a little bit so the us dollar yen is across that we're keeping an eye on today trade safe and we'll see you again soon bye bye for now